God wants someone to hear these videos. I don't know who it is, but he wants someone to hear it. <sighs> it's like overwhelming. Hey, Roy family, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, stick around. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I know for the royal well, family who's been here for a while, it's like, why does this girl take forever to upload a video now? Like, why is it taking her three weeks to upload a video? But the thing is, when you in the Lord, you're going to go through trials and tribulations. And that's what I've been going through. So one, I'm not just... A YouTuber. I have a job that God has provided for me at the hospital. I work 12 hours and I'll do a, another video on that. Also, my phone, my old phone, because I record with my phone, almost got caught on fire on my bed. And my charger, you know how some chargers have like broken up pieces, like you can see the inside. But this charger was working for a long time now. And so, like, last week, Tuesday, it decided to give up on me. That happened. And I was on my bed. The extension cord as well sparked and the charger sparked right on me when I was charging my phone. Thank God nothing happened. The My child and my cat was on me, too. While I was using my phone. And then I have white sheets on my bed. I had like a big brown spot there. Lord have mercy. It, it was just scary. I was screaming. But thank God we didn't get burned. I just threw the phone and the extension cord over there. And my phone got very overheated. My son said, oh, put it in the freezer. See what happens. I did that. The phone did not turn back on ever since. And so I went without a phone for like three days and um which is all right but um i bought a, a new phone on friday so and not having a phone is not a big deal to me because i done one 21 days without my phone for fasting so only thing i missed about my phone was my roku tv remote because i use my phone to watch tv because I have a smart TV. So I had to go out and buy batteries for my regular remote to watch YouTube. And that's pretty much all I watch is sermons on YouTube and stuff like that. Blogs and stuff, you know, Christian stuff. Yeah, that happened. And then Saturday night, I got sick. I thought I was going to record Saturday night with my new phone. I got sick. Today is Thursday. I got a day off, finally. Saturday night, I was off. Um, Sunday night, I was off. So I thought I was going to be able to record, but no. I got sick overnight. I think it was because my son had put too much bleach in my mop. So that's what happened. And, yeah, I couldn't talk. My throat was killing me. Maybe, that, maybe I sound a little different or weird right about now. But, yeah, I couldn't talk. So today started, I said, okay, maybe I'll feel better by Thursday. Um, I took a lot of medicine. I was just resting because I was feeling very weak. Like Monday morning, I had to call off of work. I couldn't even go in because I was that weak. I had to stay in my bed all day. And it wasn't. You know, that vibe was going around because I had that before in January. And that's horrible. And I don't want to go through that again. But this was just like a regular cough. And plus, I suffer from allergies. So that just plays a big part in it. So, yeah. And now I'm here. Thursday, recording. Gonna upload it today and edit it. So yeah, that's why it took me forever to do this video and um, you know, upload it. 
I just don't like posting videos and not letting you know, you know, why I took forever and why, um, you know, I'm not posting. I just find it more beneficial for you to let you in on my life and let you know what is going on with this girl right here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I started off with, thank God, you know, God has a sense of humor. With the other phone I had, I had an iPhone 11. It only has 64 gigabytes. So that's why my videos were so short and cut off short. But also I like making short videos anyways. But like my street preaching videos, the one that I had me, of me street preaching was short because I recorded other people preaching. And so when it was my time, it got caught up short because of the memory. So now I have this phone, uh, the 13, has about 100 and something gigabytes. I don't remember, but yeah, it has way more so I can record more stuff. So yeah, God has like a sense of humor because I was supposed to buy a new phone. And I kept on putting it in a hold and put it in a hold and put it in a hold because Sprint gave me a discount for the new iPhone 13 since I've been a member with them for, for a long time. So I was like, okay, I don't know when I'm going to buy this phone, but I do want to buy a new phone. And so when this, you know, fire, little fire spark happened in my bed with the old phone, I said, well, now I have to buy a new phone. So, yeah, God just, you know, he said, you know, now it's time for you to record more. I can record more videos in a day and, you know, do more editing because it's more memory and stuff like that. So God said, now is the time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I, when I last left off on my first video, I said this is how I was saved. But I'm not going to say how I was saved yet because there's more to this, to my life story. So when I was from, um, if you watched the first part from 13 to 4, 15, I was um, not in a relationship with God. I was very far from God. So when I was, remember when I was 14 years old, I was in the trap house again and I, this time, I had got possessed by a, a demon like I didn't know I was but when my friend told me the things that I was doing like beating up her friend I mean beating up her boyfriend and cursing him out and she said I was just like just wilding out like how we say in New York I don't know how to say it any other way it's just like you know going crazy or whatever and she, when I remember coming back to my senses, I was in the lobby of the hallway of the building that I was in. We was like on the 20th floor. I don't know. It was a, it's a high rise building. If you see New York City, you know, there's a lot of high rise buildings. So, yeah, I was like on the 20th floor or whatever in the lobby, just sitting on the floor and um, when I came to my senses and um, she told me, you good? You good? You all right? I'm like, yeah, what happened? Like, I'm all right. And she's like, you was just going crazy. Like, you was not acting like you. You was beating my boyfriend up. You was cursing him out and everything. And you was um, banging on the elevator to get the elevator and stuff like that. And I was like, really? I didn't know. Like, I really didn't know. So, um, that's why I said I was be demon possessed. Because I didn't know what was going on. And um, when you smoke, this is like, op it's like sorcery. It's opening a portal to the, the demonic realm. And then the apartment that I was in, you know. It was a trap apartment, so, yeah. So, as I remember, I was waiting there for the elevator in the lobby. I was just like, wow. It was like, I was just astonished that um, 
I actually did those things that she said. So, um, yeah, that happened. And then I, when I was younger, my mom um, used to watch Lifetime movies. I don't know if anyone knows what Lifetime is. It's a TV network. Um, they're still around. Nowadays, they play different kind of movies. But the, back then, they used to play, like, a lot of romantic room movies. I think now they play a lot of murder mysteries now. They used to play a lot of romantic movies. So I used to watch those movies with her. This is why it's very important to be careful what you watch and what you let into your eye gate because these things bring off evil spirits into you. So as I was watching these romantic movies, I, you know, they would lust and stuff like that, and um, they won't, sh- it, it's not like R-rated movies, but it's still like R-rated because, you know, in a Bible sense, it's R-rated because they was like lusting over each other and then about to go to bed and stuff like that, you know, even though they still have clothes on, but still, you know what I mean, um, yeah, so the spirit of like lust enter me as I watched those movies with my mom and she always told me oh close your eyes when they was kissing but like I really never did like I probably covered my eyes one time or whatever and then um yeah the spirit of lust entered me and so that's when um I became like queer, queer, like the alphabet community. I became queer. I was the B in the alphabet community. I'm not going to say the whole thing. You know what I mean. So um, <laughs> you should know by now what I'm talking about in the queer community. So, yeah, I was the B in that community because of this dustful spirit that came through the TV of me watching those kind of movies with my mom. Those romantic movies that, you know, portray off romance, but it's not really romance because they're not even married. So, yeah. So that came into my life, and God set me free from that, which is, like, you know, amazing. God is good. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit more detail, details and how I got saved. So when I, it was March 2007, I met my husband. We was together for, um, we've been together ever since, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. We've been together ever since, but when we met, we was living in sin. We was not married. So, in my ninth month of being with him that's when I got saved and this is how I got saved (laughs) for real this time it's not gonna cut off because the last video cut off because of no memory so it won't cut off this time (laughs) so yeah this is how I got saved I was in a deep sleep I remember it was August because we had this was my first year going into high school, I was going into ninth grade. I was 15 going into ninth grade. I got held back. So, yeah, that's what happened. This was my first time going into high school. So, in August, the school invited me to an orientation, you can say, or a meeting to meet other students and just get to know everyone who's going to be there in the ninth grade and like teachers and principals and stuff like that and this was a very small school in the Bronx I kid you not there was like probably 75 students in that school maybe less so yeah um the ninth grade class that was coming in was the second class that was coming in if I hope you understand what I'm saying so the first class that came in they graduated in 2008 or 10 I believe and then we graduated the year or two after 
because we was the second class because that school was brand new. So, um, yeah, it was a small class and a small school. So, um, yeah, I did that orientation in August of 2007. And when I went there, I still was the secular person who I was. And I was not saved. And so everyone, like, I've always been a popular person ever since middle school. And so when I went to high, high school, same thing, popular, because people just like my style or whatever, my personality or, or whatever. I used to wear boot, big bamboo um, hoop earrings. So, and, you know, I used to just switch it up how the style was back then. So, um, yeah, I just, like, was the type of person just to, like, attract people. And I still am to this day, thank God, you know, because that's how I went souls for Christ. So, um, yeah, I went to that orientation, got along with everybody. Everybody, you know, we became friends and stuff like that. And then come September, um... That's when I got saved. I was sleeping. I remember I was sleeping. And um, I can't tell you if it was night, day, or anything like that because I was not sober. So, um, But I do remember when I woke up, um, I was just crying. So, yeah, it was like, it felt like it was morning, but it looked like it was afternoon. I I really don't know, but my mom and my stepdad was home. I don't know if my sisters were home or if they were out doing something. I'm the oldest, by the way. Um, I have two other sisters. So, yeah, I was sleeping. I was, like, in a deep sleep. So I heard God's voice audibly in my deep sleep. And he said, no hay nada en el mundo, which means there's nothing in the world. He told me just like that in Spanish, clear. And so when I woke up, I guess I don't know if it was morning or afternoon, I was just bawling, crying, crying like a baby. And the Holy Spirit took over my life radically. I changed, like, overnight, basically. And, you know, he basically brought to my soul and to my mind that all the things that I was doing was sin. It was living in sin. It didn't make him happy. It was grieving him. And um, immediately I called my husband who was my boyfriend at the time, of course, um, and I told him, come over here. Something just happened to me. You need to come over. Like, God spoke to me. Um, he came over right away, like that, and I told him what happened, what God said to me, and I told him, we need to stop living in sin, you know. We can't be living like this no more. Like, I'm going to be a changed person. I'm going to go to church now. Like, even though my mom already was taking me to church and forcing me to church, but there was no relationship with God there. Like, I was just, uh, what's it called? It? A wall in a church, you know, basically. Just a dead body in a church, not doing nothing. Just sitting in the pews. And so, and this is what I told my husband. I said, I'm not going to be indulging in these sinful things no more because, I've been changed, you know, this is what God told me, and I'm not going to be doing these things no more. So, yeah, that's what happened. That's how I got changed. That's how I got radically saved and changed overnight. Because if it was up to me, and if it wasn't for God, I probably won't be here, or I'll probably still be out in the street, in the trap house, or whatever. All, gl all glory goes to God. Um. So, yeah, um... And I remember his audible voice like it was yesterday. Like, it's just soft. It's calm. It's like a little bit of wrath. Um, it's strong. It's not like, 
a whisper. It wasn't like a whisper or like a still small voice, like how some people say. I don't know why they say that. If there's a verse for that, let me know. Um, but yeah, it was loud. It was strong. It was a voice of a man, a male. Um, wrathful. Like a righteous wrath, a righteous anger. That voice of his and um, yeah. And it was like peaceful all at the same time. Like only God can do these things. His voice is only like that. It's only those things that I describe all at once. So that's how I got saved and all glory to God. Um, so I'm going to say why I made YouTube. So I made YouTube because God told me to make YouTube. Because if it wasn't for me, I wouldn't be here right now sitting in this chair doing YouTube and talking to you or your family. I'll probably be in bed right now resting because most of those videos that I made were done between like 12 and 4 a.m. Because one, I'm a wife. I'm a mother of three sons. I'm a nurse and I work 12 hour shifts. I have to cook and I have to clean. And um, when God told me to make this YouTube channel, it was back in um, October of 2021. Lord have mercy. Um, October of 2021, he told me to make this YouTube channel. And so when I made it, I was procrastinating. And I was like, one, Lord, I don't want to do YouTube. That's. One thing, one, I don't want to sit here and talk to a camera and have to get dressed and have to turn on all my lights because I have to have all my lights on so that um, the video can be bright. As you can see, some of my videos have improved. I have to buy a microphone. like, And I was giving God all these excuses as to why I did not want to make YouTube. And so... He reminded me again, make a YouTube. And this time I said, Lord, this is what you want. I need your help because me, my flesh and me, I cannot do this. Like I cannot. That's why Jesus said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Um. So yeah. God wants someone to hear these videos. I don't know who it is, but he wants someone to hear it. <sighs> it's like overwhelming. God wants someone to hear these videos. And even if it's one person, if it takes one person, that is all go glory to God. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Some people get like caught up. On the numbers and on competition, and who got the most m numbers, and who got um the most followers, who got the most views. I'm I don't even really care about those things. All this I do it for God's glory, and if it can save at least one soul, then He gets all the glory and honor. So yeah, some people sit down and do YouTube because they have nothing else to do. I'm a busy woman. And so, and I evangelize every Saturday out there in the streets. So I'm very busy. And on Sunday, I have to work sometimes. And on Sunday, I go to church. So I'm very busy. Um, so, yeah, I was giving God all these excuses as to why I should not do it. And he told me again, do it. And so he helped me out. He gave me the theme to this channel. Um, he gives me all the topics to talk about because I kid you not, this is, this was very overwhelming for me to put, like to do YouTube is not easy. You have to have a topic where you're going to talk about what's going to, the title is going to be. He's been helping me out with all of that. And, um, when I did, does baptism save you video? Uh, as I was editing my video, I seen the Holy Spirit. As I was editing my video on the phone, I seen him in there. And um, 
all glory goes to him. He helped me out with that because I was stressing out that day as to what am I going to put out for the for the family, for the royal family, because I didn't want to be inconsistent. I want to be consistent. And so he gave me that topic. And all glory, glory goes to the Holy Spirit because if it wasn't for him, I would not be sitting here doing this honestly, very honest. I'm from New York City. We don't play games over here. Okay, even though I'm to Florida, we very real people. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. It takes me an hour to edit videos and to put all the Bible verses down. That's one. So I'm not going to sit here and, you know, record videos just to record and then edit them, you know. Um, that's some some people do that and they probably a narcissist. I don't know, but that's not me. Um, all my lights are on in my apartment, like I say, because I need bright lighting. So that's making my electricity bill go up. I'm mean, being very transparent here because YouTube is like, you know, a task. And there's a lot of um, things that go into it. So, um, yeah that too and then I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear you know because I'm just like very picky about what I'm gonna wear I gotta fix up my hair and um you know wash my face brush my teeth it takes me a whole hour just to sit here and get ready and then I have to as I don't have the studio I have to set up my tripod I have to set up my microphone I have to set up my lighting today my ring light I didn't turn it on because I don't have an extension cord no more. So I have to buy a new one now. So it's a lot of obstacles that get in the way of doing these videos. So yeah, that's why I did YouTube. Because um, God said so. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm here. If you need any prayers, if you um, just need someone to talk to, just email me. I'm always wanting to pray for somebody. I don't have no issues with that. And I'm going to keep on putting out more videos for God's glory until he says stop and or until he comes back or until I leave this earth. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, my throat is just like mucusy, very mucusy. But, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't have all the time in the world, you know, just to sit here and set my camera up and say, oh, I'm going to make a video today about this, this, and this, and post it up. No, I I really don't. So, yeah. <laughs> I love you, Roy family. Um, have a blessed day. And I love you. We are royalty. Our father is king. God bless.